Welcome to this month's Walk Around Kentucky. Today we will be visiting the Sally Brown Crutcher Nature Preserves. These preserves are in the Palisade regions of the Kentucky River. The preserves are owned by the Nature Conservancy, a U.S. charitable environmental organization working to preserve plants, animals, and natural communities that represent the diversity of life on Earth. The preserves are open to the public and share a parking lot. They each feature a loop trail that provides views of the gorge. Directions to the preserves are head south on US 27 into Garrett County. Turn right on KY 1845. Keep on KY 1845 until it ends at the Camp Dick Fire Station. Turn left on Polly Spin Road, then right on Highbridge Road. Go two miles then veer right onto the Bowman's Bottom Road. The preserves will be on the right in 1.6 miles. The preserves are open to the public all year from sunrise to sunset for low impact activities like hiking, photography, and bird watching. Some of the birds you might see are the turkey vulture, the yellow-bellied sapsucker, the red-bellied woodpecker, the Carolina chickadee, the tufted titmouse, the Golden Crown Kinglet, the Carolina Wren, the Northern Cardinal, the Yellow Rumped Wobbler, the Eastern Bluebird, or the American Robin. Conserving lands such as these in the nature preserve is key to keeping birds like the Eastern Bluebird from becoming extinct. Interestingly, the Bluebird is a secondary cavity nester. This means that it nests in cavities but is not strong enough to peck out its own holes and then is therefore dependent on woodpeckers and other natural cavity creators. There was a major decline in the bluebird population and the bluebird went from being as common as the robin to being so rare that birders were sure of its inevitable extinction. There were many reasons for the decline, including loss of habitat, pesticide use, weather changes, removing dead trees, and an influx of house cats. However, one of the main reasons for the decline was the introduction of the house sparrow and the European starling into America. Both cavity nesters, both extremely competitive and aggressive. Scientists and birders were so concerned about the drastic decline in the bluebird population that they optimized bluebird boxes and set up a network of trails in which to put up boxes and monitor the number and the health of the population. As a result, the bluebird population is rebounding and hopefully escaping extinction. In order to protect unique habitats, such as the birds, visitors should stay on designated trails at all times. Dogs are not allowed on the 450 million year old limestone cliffs. After visiting these unique cliffs, Sally Brown decided this unique landscape must be preserved for the future and she steadfastly raised money to help the Nature Conservancy secure a narrow stretch of habitat winding along the banks of the Bowman's Bend on the Kentucky River. Her efforts led to the establishment of the 632-acre Sally Brown Nature Preserve in 1997, the first of this collection of natural areas. Sally Brown's action inspired Dr. and Mrs. Crutcher to do the same. In honor of their 15th wedding anniversary in 1999, these long-term members worked with the TNC to purchase additional land adjacent to the Sally Brown Nature Preserve in order to establish the 127-acre Crutcher Preserve. Only non-consumptive activities are allowed on these trails. A variety of habitats are observable at different elevation levels of the preserve. Also, you are going to have a different view depending on what season you visit. Visiting in the spring through the fall will give one the opportunity to see plenty of wildflowers. However, views of the river and palisades is better in late fall and winter. No matter when you visit, I would recommend taking plenty of drinking water and wearing sun protection, since some of the areas of the trails are not shaded. One habitat that the Conservancy protects is the monarch butterfly. Unlike most butterflies that occur in Kentucky, the monarch does not live here year round. Instead, adult monarchs spend the winter in Mexico and the southern United States. In the spring, adult monarchs fly north and some of them come to Kentucky. Here the females lay their eggs on milkweed plants. Calipitters then hatch the, from the eggs, feed, 
pupate and emerge as butterflies. This whole growth cycle from egg to adult takes only about a month. The preserve has a monarch station and wild milkweed can be found in the preserve itself. There are four trails and four loops. The trailhead trail provides access from the parking lot to the brown crutcher trails. It is mostly along the edge of a field on a steep grassy then dirt trail before converging with the other trails. From there you can decide which path to take. If you take the brown trail, this trail, which is marked in orange, starts out through a wooded area, then the trail becomes the Sally Brown Loop Trail, and it is marked in white. This loop is 1.6 miles long. A loop in the middle portion of the trail gives you the option of staying along the cliff line towards the creek and the river, or you can choose to stay closer to the edge of the fields. If you stay near the fields, you may come across a herd of white-tailed deer. We saw a small herd on our winter visit. Where the two trails meet on the other side, the trail follows an old roadbed down to the river. So there is a big elevation change, but only a moderate grade. Another trail option is the Crutcher Trail. The Crutcher Trail is a dirt trail with little elevation change. It stays on top of the cliff line. Then it heads back up a creek bed, crossing it a couple of times. There are two millstones at one crossing. The trail curves back around in a loop near fields. The third trail that is marked in pink is the Far Hill Trail. It starts as a dirt trail through a wooded section that crosses three springs. It then becomes a mostly grassy trail that follows along the edge of a field. You can then head up to the top of the hill for a breathtaking view before coming down the hill and continuing back on a loop or taking a connector trail to get to the Crutcher Trail. This is a nice spot to take a break and enjoy the view. A variety of habitats are observable at the different elevation levels of the preserve. Also, depending on what time of year you visit, it will determine what your views will be like. A spring visit through the fall is very good for wildflower spotting, and a winter visit is better for the view of the river and the Palisades. The Ground Crutcher Nature Preserve boasts some of the bluegrass region's most unusual habitats. The limestone cliffs and stony river banks create an extraordinary biological and geographical environment that attracts many rare and endangered plants and animals, including large concentrations of Kentucky viburnum and purple mallet grass. The Nature Preserve and the broader Palisade area also harbors at least 25 mammal species and 35 reptile species. Two endangered bat species, the gray bat and the Indiana bat, utilize large unfragmented forested corridors as a source of insects. Indiana bats hibernate in tight clusters along the ceiling and sides of caves and mines. Their summer habitat includes small to mid-side rivers and streams that corridors with well-developed woods and upland forest. Blue ash, oak trees, and sugar maples can be found on the steep limestone slopes, along with less common trees like the rock elm, the yellowwood, and the yellow buckeye. The yellowwood grows throughout eastern Kentucky, but is most common along the Kentucky River Palisades in the bluegrass region. So this is a good place to find them. More acidic soils on the bluff top ridges harbor peach, tulip poplar, and oak hickory forest types, more common in the Appalachian of Kentucky. Wildflowers are also abundant in the Palisades region, including Virginia bluebells, blue-eyed marys, fringe phallacea, and trillums. See if you can spot Virginia bluebells, a bluebird, a monarch butterfly, a yellowwood tree, an Indiana bat when you visit the nature preserves or in your own backyard. I hope you enjoyed this month's episode of Walk Around Kentucky and will join us next time.